Welcome to the Bachelor of Arts in Science. This is a unique degree and it is jointly offered by the Faculty of Arts and the Faculty of Science. My name is Tanya Rago and I'm the degree advisor. My office is located within the Science Office for Undergraduate Student Advising, also known as SUSA, and I'm normally physically located in Dawson Hall, which is pictured here. For now, however, I'm working from home and hoping that you are safe wherever you are in the world. Let's start by explaining this unique degree to you. It is one degree jointly offered by two faculties. The central objective of the BANSC degree is to provide students with a broad education that includes the study of disciplines from both faculties. The idea is to give you a unique opportunity to achieve a diverse knowledge base, to gain competences in different methodologies, and to hone intellectual flexibility and integrate material across disciplines. Although the degree is offered by both faculties, from an administrative perspective, it is a faculty of science degree. Let's discuss some of the key highlights of what it means to be an undergraduate student in the Faculty of Science. Courses at all levels are taught by tenured or tenure track professors, and they act as advisors and mentors to our undergraduate students by taking part in networking events like Soup and Science and encouraging undergraduate students to take part in research. Let's go over the degree structure of the BANSC. There are two options in this degree. First, we have the multi-track system, which consists in taking a major concentration in science and a major concentration in arts. The second more popular option is the interfaculty program. In addition, you would be taking a minor or minor concentration. The multi-track system is when a student takes two major concentrations. They are each 36 credits, and therefore they offer less depth, but more breadth than the majors that are available in the Bachelors of Science. The structure of the BANSC degree is intended for students with an equal interest in both arts and science. If your primary interest lies in science, I recommend that you choose the Bachelor of Science. These smaller major concentrations may not easily lead to graduate studies in one single discipline, but the combination of the two areas can be ideal for graduate programs or professional programs which require being multidisciplinary. You will select a 36 credit major concentration from the Faculty of Arts and a 36 credit major concentration from the Faculty of Science for a total of 72 credits. You may only pick a major concentration that is listed in the e-calendar. Here's the list of those science major concentrations. These are the only ones that are permitted in the multi-track system. Notice that psychology counts as a science. The more popular choice is the 54 credit interfaculty program. We have three, environment, cognitive science, sustainability science, and society. You must add a minor or minor concentration. Most are 18 credits, and therefore for a total of 72 credits, including both programs. There are, of course, honors versions of these programs, and that's something that you'll discuss with your program advisor. These programs are interdisciplinary and include courses from departments from both faculties. Your time at McGill can also be enriched by looking at opportunities that are available to you beyond the classroom. If you enjoyed the idea of studying abroad, you could spend one semester or two semesters at a university somewhere outside of Montreal. Usually, you want to do this in your U2 year. You can also choose to do an independent study away if you wanted to study at an institution that does not currently have an exchange agreement with McGill. Many students in the Faculty of Science will take part in an internship they range in duration from four to 16 months. Most students will do this during the summer, 
And it's a great way to earn some valuable money and valuable experience. Speak to the Faculty of Science Internship Officer for more information. If you wanted to find another way of earning some credits, you could consider doing a field semester or a shorter field course. It's another great way to enrich your academic experience and get close to both students and professors involved in that field studies semester or course. Research is an important part of the Faculty of Science and undergraduate students are encouraged to participate. It really is the cornerstone of an undergraduate education. You will get to work closely with professors and this will definitely help you to get into graduate programs. It will provide you with valuable work experience and that'll be recognized in how you've learned lab techniques, how you've worked as part of a team, and also you may even end up publishing papers. Over 50% of McGill students complete at least one undergraduate research course. And they fit really well into the structure of this degree. Let's talk a little bit about advising. Every program at McGill has one or more advisors and their goal is to guide you in course selection and optimizing your program to meet your goals. Your program advisor, as well as myself, your SUSE advisor, will work together with a common goal, which is to really get you to get the most out of your time at McGill. Thank you for listening today. And although it would have been really great to have met in person during a traditional open house, please don't hesitate to email me and we can definitely set up a Zoom call if you wanted to speak live. But for more information about the degree and all the different combinations of program, I have included here the link to the e-calendar. Thank you, take care.